Now let's understand how to use a use jupyter value hook in the React application. By default, React always render a consistent UI. Usually, when update the state, we expect to see changes on the screen without any delay to make the app feel more responsive and giving us a better user experience. However, sometimes it might be useful to intentionally introduce an inconsistency. In React, rendering is synchronous. Each rendering component triggered by the state changes. Each rendering component triggered by a state changes would have to wait for all the others to be ready to be updated. So let's suppose that you have two states inside your React component. React will wait for both these states to update and then re-render the component. Instead of rendering the component multiple times when we have multiple use states. With React 18, different priorities can be given to each state changes or even to each component rendering. Using use differ value hook, you can access the previous value of the state as well. Let me show you a very simple example. I'm going to create a constant counter and set counter. And I'm going to create both these variables using this use state hook. The default value is zero. Now at the top, let me first import this use state. So in the import statement, I'm going to say use state from React. And then inside this use state right here, I'm also going to call use differ value. Just out of that, I'm going to call this use differ value just out of this use state. Here I'm going to say constant. Then I'm going to specify here differ counter is equal to and then specify here use differ value. And then as a first argument, I'm going to specify this counter, this state value. Let's suppose if I call here use effect. And inside this use effect, if I call the callback function and print this counter using console.log and also print the differ value using console.log. Let me save the changes and show you the result. When I save the changes, you can see first we're going to have this counter value and then we have the deferred counter value. But when I change the value of this counter, let me show you what would happen. So instead of this app, if I call here a button with on click event and then I'm going to specify here set counter and increase the value of this counter variable by one. Let me reload the browser. And now when I click on this increment button, you can see I'm going to have the result something like this. So this use effect is going to first print the counter value, which is increased by one. Then it's going to return the previous counter value, or you can say the defer value. So right now, inside this defer value, we have zero. Then it's going to return the counter value again, and then return the current defer value. So using this use defer value, you can access the previous value of your state. So let's suppose that if I print here a division tag with the advanced counter differ value and after that if i print the counter value right here basic counter value and then specify the counter let me say the changes and when i click on this increment you can't actually see that effect but you can see in the console inside this differ counter value you have the previous state value and then it's going to update it to the latest value you can use this use differ value hook mostly when you want to keep your interface responsive when you have something that renders immediately based on the user input and something that needs to be wait for the data fetch. So let's suppose that you want to fetch your data from the backend, but that data, it depends on the user input. In that case, you can use this use differ value. So once you get your data from the backend, you can then call this use differ value and print your UI and make your component completely responsive. So I hope you understand how to work with this use differ value hook in React application. Let's understand the next React hook. 